Matter of fact, we're looking at triple digit temperatures later in the week. Today was 100 degrees tomorrow, right around that 99 to 100. And that'll be the theme for the next seven days in San Antonio. Take a look at today's numbers and the progress. 97 is normal, 100. The century mark is where we topped out at. That's specifically at the airport. Look at some of the other numbers down below that. Our month to date rainfall, August has not been generous so far 0 0.03 for the rain gauge, but our yearly total is doing great. We're almost at 20 inches so far for the year right there. 19.48. So we're doing OK in overall rainfall. Now the summer so far it has been hot, but not as hot as previous years. As a matter of fact, last year at this time, we counted at about 45 triple digit days last year wrapped up at 75, which was an all time record. Right now, since we hit 100 today, that marks 15 days at or above 100. Typical last 100 degree day, late August, so we're almost there, but we've seen triple digit heat as late as September. So next couple months still can produce a lot of heat. Speaking of that, high temperatures today, 100 in San Antonio, 101 at Uvalde, 104 the high temperature at Del Rio. Well, a lot of hundreds on the map, except for the Hill Country middle 90s earlier today and anywhere east of I-35 like Gonzales, 97 earlier this afternoon. OK, right now, 88 feels like 92. The humidity is coming down slowly and the winds are helping. They're moving at about 14 miles an hour, so a light, gentle breeze out there tonight with temperatures slowly cooling down. This morning we bottomed out at 81 for an overnight low. That's extremely warm. We're at 88 right now. I think we bottom out around 78 tomorrow morning. Here's the overnight forecast. Some models depicting maybe 76 in some areas around the metro tomorrow afternoon. Aside from a little bit of cloud cover, highs in the middle to upper 90s. For your Monday forecast, I think about 98 to 99 just below the century mark with a lot of sunshine, and that's how it stays. High pressure as it remains over Texas, you have a lot of clear sky and not much rain. It just provides that sinking air motion, which doesn't allow for rain to form underneath high pressure. All right, so the tropics a little active. Remember August and September, the most active months in hurricane season. Now this is a tropical wave. It's technically designated potential tropical cyclone five, but it will become Ernesto in the coming days as it moves towards the windward islands towards Puerto Rico, probably about Tuesday and Wednesday, not organized just yet, but as it encounters more favorable conditions, that's where it will strengthen into a tropical storm by the time it makes it towards the Caribbean Sea, making landfall somewhere near Puerto Rico for its first or second landfall, depending on which Caribbean island it starts at and then it bends towards the north. So it looks like it's not going to make a landfall in the Bahamas or near the DR or Cuba. With high pressure out east over the Atlantic, that steering current will draw it up farther and farther north, but still over open water. A category two hurricane is expected. And again, this will be named Ernesto and anything that forms after that. Here are the names for the 2024 season, wrapping up with Valerie and William. The 14 day forecast tomorrow 98 to 99 small chance at an isolated shower Tuesday afternoon as high pressure kind of goes back and forth Thursday, Friday and Saturday alert days just because of the excessive heat hotter than some of the days you can see on the extended forecast and up to 102 on Saturday and Sunday with the heat index probably feeling more like 105 to 110 clear skies with only slim rain chances Tuesday and early early next week.